Gyerekkoromban sokszor
uh, because that's where you'll find a majority of your mushrooms. Now, about a three, four foot long section, and this will help you stabilize yourself as you walk. This will help you stabilize yourself as you're walking. Some of the conditions, places you want to look at for mushrooms. Around the base of dead elms. Some of these trees right here are dead elms. You can see the bark falling off elms. You can see the elms. You can see the bark falling off elms. You can see the bark. It's been dead for a few years. I like to find a tree that's got. It's just newly dead. Look out for. Uh, Hi, I'm Daryl Johnson with EatCountryLifestyle.com. We're here to do some morel hunting today. I'm here, out here to show you a few tricks on finding them, what to look for, areas and stuff. It's around the first week of May. It's just prime time for mushrooms around here. Uh, last week, uh, on Friday, I found 110 little grays in this area, another area. Uh, but with a couple days in the 70s, temperatures uh, holding steady around 50 at night, 70 during the day with some rain last night, it's just prime time. So we ought to find some morels here today. Hopefully I'll be able to show you both different varieties. There's the gray, some people call them the browns, uh, but there's the gray variety and the yellow variety. Yellows tend to be much bigger. Uh, I like the grays to eat because they're much more flavorful, uh, but the yellows will give you bulk and, and give you a lot in the fridge. So we're going to go out here and find some. One of the first things you want to do is find a good morel stick. So this is this right here is just about perfect. About a three, four foot long section. And this will help you stabilize yourself as you're walking through the woods, but it'll also help you move stuff around to be able to see the mushrooms. Because uh, many times they hide on you, you know. So we have to have to go in uh, underneath the brush and find them. So temperatures uh, holding steady around 50 at night, 70 during the day with some rain last night. So temperatures uh, holding steady around 50 at night. 70 during the day with some rain last night. Temperatures uh, holding steady around 50 at night. 70 during the day with some rain last night. Temperatures uh, holding steady around 50 at night. 70 during the day with some rain last night. 